Okay, today we're talking about chemical equations. And here we have a chemical equation sitting in front of us. Um, and that chemical equation is a representation of a combustion reaction of glucose. So this C6H12O6 is glucose. If it is going to go through a combustion reaction, it is going to react with oxygen that is in the air. It is going to produce carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. So that's exactly what a chemical equation is. It is a representation of a chemical reaction. If I had some glucose in the lab and I lit it on fire and it went through that reaction, that would be a chemical reaction. This series of formulas and symbols is a representation of that chemical reaction. So that's what a chemical equation is. One thing that we need to understand before we begin to balance chemical equations is the role of subscripts and coefficients. Subscripts are things that we should already be pretty familiar with. All of these numbers that are kind of lower justified here, those are all subscripts, and they tell us how many atoms of that particular element there are in that substance. So this six here tells me that there's six oxygen atoms in glucose. This 12 tells me that there's 12 hydrogen atoms and so forth. A coefficient is a number that appears in front of a formula and it tells you how many of that substance you have. So let's take a look at an example of that. Say I had some calcium nitrate, CaNO3, 2. So again, let's review our subscripts. This 3 tells me that there's 3 oxygen atoms. This 2 tells me that there's 2 nitrate of polyatomic ions, whatever appears inside those parentheses. So if I add a coefficient to that, this coefficient goes in front of this formula unit, this compound here, and the two tells me that there's two calcium nitrates. So if I were to count, and this is another skill that's really important for you to have, if I were to count how many calcium atoms, nitrogen atoms, and oxygen atoms there are in two calcium nitrates, I would start with this two, multiply two times calcium, which there's just one of, there's two calcium atoms. In one calcium nitrate, there are two nitrogen atoms because of this subscript, but there are two calcium nitrates. So I'd multiply two times two. So there are four nitrogen atoms. In one calcium nitrate, there are two times three, which is six oxygen atoms but we have two calcium nitrates. So I'd have two times three, which is six, times two, which is 12 oxygen atoms. So make sure that you understand what a chemical equation is and the important role of subscripts and coefficients in our chemical equation. Because we get to balancing, um, it'll be important, very important for us to know the role of those things and how to count atoms um, in a compound.